Hello dear friends, hope you all are doing fine. In this video, you will get 25 important questions which are the MCQs asked in the entrance exam conducted for admission to MSc Biotechnology in the year 2021. So watch this video till end and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all the new videos. This video is in the second part. First part has already been discussed. You will get the link in the description box below and in the i button here. So now let's get started. The question number 41. Which one of the following is the correct food chain? Option A. Phytoplankton, zooplankton, fish. Option B. Zooplankton, phytoplankton, fish. C. Zooplankton, protozoans, fish. D. Grass, fish, zooplankton. The correct answer is the option A. Question number 42. In an immunization experiment, there are four different groups of mice. Group 1 mice are administered with keyhole limpet hemocyanin. Group 2 received azobenzene arsenate. Group 3 mice received lipopolysaccharide. Group 4 mice received dextran. After four weeks, sera were collected and tested for antigen specific IgG1 and IgG2A antibodies by ELISA. Which of the following groups will show maximum titer? The option A, keyhole limpet hemocyanin primed. B, azobenzene arsenate primed mice. C, lipopolysaccharide primed mice. D, dextran primed mice. Here, the correct one is the A. Keyhole limpet hemocyanin primed mice. Keyhole limpet hemocyanin is a protein and it is an immunogenic protein which elicits the high production of IgG in the human beings because it is a xenozymic protein. And the others, these are the chemicals or this is the lipopolysaccharide or the polysaccharide which induce poor immune response. So, the correct one is the option A. Question 43. Which of the following among alkali metals is most reactive? Any K, R, B, C, S. The correct one is the option D. C is cesium. Question number 44. Relationship of an epiphyte with its host is an example of A. Amensalism, B. Mutualism, C. Commensalism, and D. Competition. The correct one is the option C. The epiphytes, they grow on other plants for the physical support. They cause no harm to the host plant. The example are orchids. Question number 45. Which of the following is an example of selective media? A. Hankton enteric agar. B. Triptychus soy agar. C. Baird Parker agar. D. McConkie agar. Note down, it is asking not an example. So here the correct option is the B, Triptychus soy agar. Since Triptychus soy agar is an enriched medium, while others, these are the selective media. Selective media, they allow only a particular group of microorganisms to grow while inhibiting others. Question number 46. The major difference between food web and food chain is A. Food chain and food web are linear pathways. B. Food chain and food web are interconnected pathways. C. Food chain is a single linear pathway and food web is interconnected pathway. D. Food chain is interconnected pathway and food web is single linear pathway. So here the correct option is the option C. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन इन इक्वलाई Each of the following sigma factor is involved in the transcription of housekeeping genes: a, sigma seventy, sigma forty-eight, sigma thirty-two, d, sigma fifty-four. Here, the correct option is the option a, sigma seventy. Housekeeping genes they are stably expressed always in the cells. Question number forty-eight. Find the weight of H two S O four sulfuric acid in twelve hundred ml of solution of point four normal strength. So here you have to do the calculation. The different options they are given. The formula which will be applied is the normality is equal to the gram solute and the volume in liter. Multiplied by the equivalent weight. So here we have to calculate these gram solutes, the grams of the solid. Normality given is point four. The volume is one point two liter, and equivalent weight for the sulfuric acid is forty nine. So keeping all this value, the weight of sulfuric acid comes to be the option a which is 23.52 gram question number 49 cryptochromes are fluorophores of plants that are sensitive to a red light b violet light c blue light d white light the correct one is the c blue light question 50 Which one of the following is not true? Note down. It is asking not true with reference to limbic system related memory response in vertebrates. A severe damage to hippocampus usually does not destroy memory events prior to injury, yet later events are recalled only if great difficulty or not at all. B experimental or accidental removal of parts of limbic system leads to emotional passiveness. C human being with limb hippocampal damage by neurogeneration retains good short term memory but poor long term memory. D. Limbic system is involved in temporarily retaining the memory of a recent experience until it becomes established as a long-term memory in the isocortex. So, out of this, which is not true, is the option C. Question fifty-one. Which of the following compounds will be optically active? A. Succinic acid. B. Mesotartaric acid. C. Lactic acid. D. Chloracetic acid. Here, the option C, lactic acid, is correct because lactic acid it contains a chiral compound, so it is optically active. Question fifty-two. Production of ammonia by microbes is tested by a methyl red test, b Nessler's test, c Wolgers-Proskauer test, d Kovacs method. The option B is correct. Nessler's test. Question fifty-three. Phosphoric acid has three pKa values. The number of pKa value that a phosphate group can have in DNA or RNA is a zero, b one, c two, and d three. So here the correct one is the option b one. Question number fifty-four. Twin studies in humans are useful because they allow more refined estimates of chromosome location. B. Twins have a greater likelihood of being heterozygous. C. They do not allow environmental influences on variation in a trait to be estimated. D. They allow genetic as opposed to environmental influences or variation in a trait to be estimated. So here, the option D is correct. The twins usually they are having the homozygous genome. They are if they are the monozygotic twins. Question fifty five. Water logging is a phenomenon that refers to a erosion of soil, b rotation of crop patterns, c saturation of soil root zone, d cultivating the same crops. So here the option C is correct. Question fifty six. 
which is the correct sequence of arrangement of types of WBC in decreasing order in terms of number per cubic millimeter of healthy human blood. So it is asking about how much percentage or how much amount number of the WBCs they are present in the decreasing order. A. Eosinophil, basophil, neutrophils. B. Basophils, eosinophils, neutrophils. C. Neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils. D. Eosinophils, neutrophils, basophils. So out of this, the option C is correct. Neutrophils highest followed by eosinophils and least one basophils. Question for 57. Grey crescent is present in A. Zygote of frog, B. Brain of rabbit, C. Eye of frog, D. Retina of cockroach. The option A. Zygote of frog is correct. Question 58. The atoms of the element having same mass number but different atomic number are called A. Isotopes, B. Isobars, C. Isotones, D. Isomers. The correct option is the B. Isobars. Question 59. The DNA polymerase with 3' prime to 5' prime exonucleus activity is A. DNA polymerase 1, B. DNA polymerase 2, C. DNA polymerase 3, D. Wrap A. The correct one is the option A. DNA polymerase 1. Question number 60. Suppose you have a mixture of proteins with following properties. Protein 1, 58 kDa. Protein 2, 28 kilodaltons. Protein 3, 17 kilodalton. Protein 4, 10 kilodalton. Protein 3 and 4, they exist as a heterodimer, while protein 1 and 2 exist as monomers in solution. So, what is the order of elution of these proteins on a gel exclusion collar? So, they are asking about the gel chromatography so these proteins one two three four they are poured from this ends and in which order they will elute out so the options which are here the options are saying a protein three and four will co elute first followed by protein two and one chromatogram will depict three major peaks b option protein one will elute first and then protein two three and four Co-elute as a single peak. The chromatogram will depict two major peaks. So, question C. The protein 1 will elute first followed by the protein 2, 3 and 4. The chromatogram will depict four major peaks. The option D is saying protein 1 will elute first, the protein 2 will elute next followed by protein 3 and 4. The chromatogram will depict three major peaks. So here the option which is correct is the option B. Protein 1 is the biggest one so it will elute first. Then uh, it is sad that do this uh, 3 and 4 they exist as heterodimer so their combined weight is 27 and its weight is 28 so there is not a major difference in their weights so the protein 2 3 and 4 they will coelute and finally there will be the two major peaks question number 61 which of the following can precipitate antigens a fab b f c c fab a b2 d f c r so out of this the correct one is the fab 2 because this monovalent fab it can only have one antigen binding site where the divalent fab they have the two antigen binding sites so they can bind as well as precipitate. Question 24. Transamination of which the following amino acid gives rise directly to one of the intermediates of the tricarboxylic acid cycle. A glycine, B alanine, C glutamate, D is the arginine. The correct one is the option C glutamate. Question 63. Pap smear test is used for screening the breast cancer, bone meningitis, cervical cancer, D blood cancer. The option C cervical cancer is correct. Question 64. 
An example of a compound that exists as an antioxidant in packed food is A. Benzoic acid, B. Parachloromethylenol, C. Sodium bicarbonate, D. Butylated hydroxy toluene. The option D. Butylated hydroxy toluene is correct. Question 65. For enzymes obeying the michaelis mantan relationship, a plot generated using 1 oblique V0, the initial velocity versus the 1 oblique substrate concentration is known as A. Line weaver Berg plot, B. michaelis mantan plot, C. Ramachandran plot, D. is the adi Hofstadt plot. The correct one is the option A. Line weaver Berg plot. So these were the important MCQs for your preparation. Hope this will help you in the exams. Best wishes. Bye and take care.